So it's not going to be a Sally out this time. Toggle Banished Blue. Toggle We Are... No. Toggle Clowns Red. Toggle Jack Ultras Blue. Toggle Odin's Legion Red. No, this time there is definitely not going to be a Sally out. <laughs> They've got Fort Abraki up, the defenders do. They've got I, uh, Imperial Shields, they've got Palace Guards, Modal, Axe Raiders, a couple of three sets of uh, Iron Reapers, and a Falconetti. It's a lot of Fort Brachios for coming from the attackers. Yeah, we're probably expecting Is a Sally out. Is that a unit? Is it Shenshi Band? That's Tercio. Yeah, that's Tercio. Uh. Similar, it's got, little, it's got a little helmet on there. Like, I always think it's a shield, but it's actually a helmet. Yeah. Definitely a Tercio. Never used never used them, so I could never run what those, their Oricon looks like. Shenzhen's got like a it's similar, it's got the gun and like with a little grenade next to it. Bad that was, uh, range they units. Did. They're not a flamethrower or a... Uh, they're not a flamethrower, I'm not using them. The attackers actually have like two or three sets of Falcon it is as well. Check it out when we get in. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm very, very surprised that Falconetti's were bad because if A and B is going to be a heavy strat to defend, like Falco's is the one unit that can slow you down. The defenders only have one as well. Wait, what? Why are lots of people leaving? Nothing. Okay, a couple of players crashed, so we've been asked to leave the battle. Ugly mug. At once. Wing crow, which are in for jacks. <laughs> I mean, you boys have got must be multiple from the same house there, because you're all running around with the kicker title or kicker bit in front of your name. Waiting for the lobby to pop up. Jump straight back in. Probably going to be the same password. Pretty sure everyone's out. So apologies for the delay, boys, but the players crashed, so uh, they basically asked look, we've lost a couple of players, can we restart? So nothing had happened, so it makes no sense to not say. Should have left them handicapped. Yeah. They look at the symbol there, gobs. That's a Shenzhen one. The musket yeah. going in the other direction with a grenade next to it. They are very similar, though. They just wanted to see what units the other team were taking so they could change it. <laughs> Well, they haven't loaded in yet, so they want to start out. Change their plan, that's all it was. I wanted them. The FDS lights wanting Odin to win. <coughs> Ooh, FDS. Oh, Zozo's playing as well. Who? That's Scab Zozo. That's Scab Zozo. What, that's Scab Crazy? So we've got that's Scab Header. Scab <laughs> scab crazy. Scab, scab fatals. Crazy. It's the battle of the scabs, I'm telling you. The, the scabathon. Prepare for rivals.
Oh, I just realized I was muted the whole time. Fuck! Apologies, people. Nothing's happened so far anyway, apart from when we were taking the piss out ahead of being shit. That's about it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh well. Oh, my name's Nine Fingers. I don't make massive mistakes. I oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> that was small, okay? <laughs> That's a massive mistake, not even unmuting yourself for uh, your stream. That was, that's mm. pretty bad, yeah. I'm calling it right. If these three douchebags wouldn't have been in the chat, I wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, make your excuses, nine fingers. <laughs> to be honest, I was, if you just had ten fingers... I'm t yeah, that, that was literally going to be my next uh, next comment. If I'd have had ten fingers, I'd, that would have never have happened. The so Fatal's got his musket out. He's starting to bomb the Fort of Rakio at the bottom there. Good shout, because it's a close well, unit, it can do work. On, uh, crazy's uh, unit. Crazy's fought a Brachios as well. Got a scab on scab action here. He's the worst uh, musket on EU1, so... So Jack to push down from two sets of staircases. They're getting counter-pushed from Odin's, though. Nobody's on B yet. Um, Shenjin... No, Shenjin's a band, so that was Akalian Militia just got thrown. Yeah, from Cinetech. Big oh, fights going there. on. Falcon is up here could do work though if they get the angle. Good belly flop here from the short sword. I think Jack the winning though on that side. Let's look on this side. I think Jack the winning this side. These Falcon is back here are going to be a problem though. Jack needs to get somebody through to jump on these here. Got javelins and obviously got the shields around them. Oh, you should have stayed at the top wall corner. He could have peppered them. Yeah, you mean, yeah, yeah. If it had sat right up on the corner there. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have been able to kill them, though, because the shields are sat around them. They've also got the long swords constantly topping them up. But Jack, they've got the resupply. Uh, they're definitely going to win over here. They just need to get rid of those Fortabrachio. Axe Raiders are pulling back. Odin's have got the best of it over here, though. Gweed's going in for the Falconettes. Zuki as well. He's got cavalry, though, as well. Cataphrax, so they're going to get rid of the fl uh, the flames, the Falconettes. I'm pretty sure the Falconettes are now gone. No, yeah, the I, can't, I, can't, I can't see any, so they're gone. They got rid of the shields, got rid of everything, basically. Uh, Unit-wise, we'll go in and have a look. So the defenders lost 274, the attackers pretty 300. Even. Pretty, even. pretty even so far, yeah. for B. <laughs> Just replying on stream about the fact that I have uh, no commentary. Again. <laughs> Gobs. Bob's and Liam's fault. Going. Clearly had nothing yeah, to do with me. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, um, the, t the finger that uh, Nine Fingers lost is actually the one that had all his brain cells in. So <laughs> Yeah, like 99% of my brain cells. The ones that are left are just so that I can breathe and walk at the same time. <laughs> so Odin's are actually going to defend C. Uh, the attackers are going to have, what, seven minutes when they get B? Shows you human, mate. Just shows you human. <clears throat> right, I'm just going to double check if uh, how many heroes died on each team. So the attackers lost four and the defenders lost seven there. Fortunately, Hedda wasn't one of them. Crazy, Willow. Yeah. Right, so obviously the, the, the problem defending this is, obviously the C point itself is trebable. I like the position from Odin's ear though, because that's kind of safe. It's not fully safe, but it's kind of safe. They have a lot of pikes out as well though, man. So do the attackers, they've got one unit of winged Asar. The attackers have got Zakalian up as well though, and they've got flames. So if they can get them in to use them, that treb could be massive if it hits. It's just hitting those walls. Almost hit yeah. their own troops and that. Oh, anyway. one, one, one came through. Wasn't really worth it though, one got through. This blob here is going to get pinched from three sides though. The Odins could be in trouble here. They need to get something stopping these IPGs. I don't think they got out though. Head, head a job. Head is not allowed to kill people, is he? 
legal. Zozo died. So you got Fire coming around with his wing Bissars now. I think he's assuming all the walks are gone and he should be able to get through. Well timed, well timed cavalry charge there. I think he lost quite a lot of the unit, but they cleared up completely there. Odin's have dropped down to eight heroes. Huge. D points gone, then he pulled back. They're just dying oh, for no save reason. Save your life. Yeah, what oh, what uh, Jack need to do now though is just push everything. Yeah, they do. Oh, there you go. They're gonna leave like one, two guys back there and just fully push with everything. Get this lane blocked off, and the defenders are fucked. I think I think this is GG. Oh no, they could spawn in the back here. They might, if they can get more spawn than in before C is gone, they might be able to stop this. Touch and go. Not enough, I don't think. They've got cavalry coming back in now, though, so they might be quick enough. Fatal's died. I think they've got enough in now, though. That cav charging is good, though, with all the barriers and palisades and shit there, though. Well, it's done its uh, job, though. They've pushed them off. They've pushed them back. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're able to stabilise. I think Odin's seen the first few people come out and just decided not to even contest it and just set up. They've probably got like a game plan exactly how they want to do it. Falconettes are alive, so they're probably going to have Falconettes on the back uh, the back balcony here where headers just go in. And here they are. Okay, so that's the first set of Falconettes they're going to stick out. If they've still got another one up, they might end up putting them on this balcony to get like closer range, but... There's no units that you can actually shoot at yet though. The defenders have got the little courtyard here as well to deny the balcony to the attackers, which is a pretty good move as well. Stopping yeah, Zakalian getting up there. Attackers are using outriders, but the minute aren't they? The defenders have got two sets of Zakalian themselves up as well. They've got a set of Falconet. Where they put South Falconet is? They're not there. Uh, oh, here they, here they are. Here they are. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to use them at like point blank range. Okay. Here we've got a couple of guys already pushing around. Here comes oh. the push. Obviously fighting here for the defenders is good because they can't treb here. They put bagpipes down, they've got flamers up as well. That is doing work, man. Falcon it is as well. The defenders with the Kalian though. Too far back, I think. And the whole unit just died. <laughs> They're overcommitted, there was nothing to defend them. Yeah. Okay, are they going to counter push though? Count, Odin's count coming in front flank from Odin's. Wait, oh, in the back here. Yeah. If he can do Literally a back coming charge, at instinct. If he, there he is. If he could have done a back charge there, it'd have been good. Is he going back to heal, or why is he running all the way around? Uh, the band's no face were Shenjin and Keshigs and Keshigs. Probably just nilt spe misspelled something, but um, oh well. Jack to being very methodical here though, like just inching forward, making sure they've got the units they want for every push set up before they do a push. They just got some heroes up on the top, is that to just get better? Oh, so Instincts and Tomzi are in a fight back here with Cytonic. I think Cytonic managed to get his unit out though, at least half of it. Tomzi looks like he was going to chase and decided against it. Reb coming in here. Could get them Falconettes if it's lucky. Maybe got a unit. This is where Falconettes is heavily going to come. There you go. Play. There's Headers, Falconettes, they move forward as well. Now they can shoot down the whole alleyway. Jack that on the point already as well. The Cav that uh, Odin's had in the back lines is moving now, Tomzi. And Instinct had his cavalry still as well, I think. Although he looks like he's got infantry out. Very good treb on the bottom here. Edda's Falcon is still up there, just firing away. Jack's got cavalry here as well. Very sloppy fight though, but Odin's have lost six heroes already. Well, just lost even well. more as well. Holy crap. Yeah, GG. Yeah. That's... That was methodical, man. Like, literally, the push just to get the, the compound. And then they took their time and didn't move anything until they got the 
balconettes up on top and then just did, like, did it in stages. That was really well played, man. Edda didn't die once, disappointed. Ooh, That's a win in my book for Odin's if they would have uh, <laughs> yeah. they killed him. <laughs> they just pushed. They was never caught out at numbers, were they? They was always in two, threes, and fours. Yeah. Very, very well played for Jack Torchers there.